is a symbol we use for the object distance. So if we look at this, which is a mirror and an object and the image of the object and the various rays. Now, I'm going to spend a bunch of time walking my way through this. So don't worry, we're going to spend a bunch of time on this. The object distance is the distance from the mirror along the principal axis to where the object is located. So that the object distance would be from here to here. P, the object distance. The image distance, the symbol is Q. The image distance is the distance along the principal axis to from the mirror to the image. So the image distance, Q, would be this distance from here to here. Now, the image always goes from the principal axis to wherever your rays intersect. And we're going to go through examples of that in just a minute. Some things about the image distance. If Q, the image distance, is less than zero, this means the image is uh, is less, I don't want to start with less than zero, I'm sort of greater than, sorry. If the image, if the Q, the image distance is greater than zero, then the image is in front of the mirror and is real. And I'll talk about what real means in just a minute. If the image distance is less than zero, then the image is behind the mirror. And it is a virtual image. So what it means to be a real image means that the reflected rays intersect and uh, can focus on a screen. A virtual image means that the reflected rays do not intersect. And an image cannot be focused on a screen. So, this is a real image. Notice the image is in front of the mirror, and all of those reflected rays are intersecting and therefore causing uh, this could be focused on a screen, a real image. We can relate the object distance, the image distance, and the focal length via this equation. One over the, Im uh, one over the image distance plus one over the object distance equals one over the focal length. One over the object distance plus one over the image distance equals one over the focal length. We also have something called magnification, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's the magnification of the object versus the image. M, capital M, stands for magnification. And the equation for magnification, again, a capital M, it is equal to H prime over H, and it's equal to negative Q over P, where H prime is defined as the image height, and H is the object height. So, so far, we've had if Q is greater than zero, we have a real image. If the image distance is less than zero, we have a virtual image. We also need to talk about what happens with the magnification. And yes, I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you. And yes, we're going to review. Magnification. If the magnification is greater than zero, that means that the image is upright. If the magnification is less than zero, this means that the image is inverted. The image we have on the screen right now, Christina, 
Is that image inverted or upright? It's inverted. Notice that the object is upright and the image is the reverse. It is inverted relative to the object. If the absolute value of the magnification is greater than 1, the image is, uh, is enlarged. If the magnification is equal to 0, the image is the same size. And if the magnification is less than, or the absolute value of the magnification is less than 1, the image is reduced. So these are all called image characteristics. So if the mag magnification is greater than 0, it's upright. The image characteristic, the image would be upright, and so on and so forth. How would the uh, absolute How would the absolute How would the absolute value be equals 1? Thank you. I don't know how it would be, would be my answer. So if the, ma if the absolute value of the magnification is equal to 1, it would be the same size. So in this particular case, the image, Danaher, is it enlarged, the same size, or reduced? So you're comparing the object to the image, or the image to the object. It's reduced. it's reduced, right? You can see the image is smaller than the object. So it simply means that it is reduced. 